All right, now. Hi, I am Lisa, and I have a scary story to tell you about the Wooly Burger. The Wooly Burger? I've never heard about the Wooly Burger. Tell me about it. Some people say it's not real. Some people say it doesn't exist. Some people say it's not true. Even some people say, what is a Wooly Burger? It's their kidding. But I know. You know? How do you know about the Wooly Burger? Well, my grandpa told me about it. Oh, what did he tell you? Like once, he, him and his friend was, tra- was going into the woods for a walk. Pretty scary things were happening. Then he couldn't find his way home. But, because it was so dark up there, and they had a... a <laughs> and did I forget to tell you this? Oh, oh bo- Wooly Boogers love Butterfingers, and they had a lot. But they ate it all, and it was all on their face. I guess that's what attracted the Wooly Booger. But then, a Wooly Booger was chasing them. They had a, you have to climb on a tree, because they can't get you from trees. The Wooly Boogers can't climb trees? No, oh. they can't. Well, what do you know what a Wooly Booger looks like? Well, I don't really, but my grandpa told me it was nasty. Oh. And besides, you know what? What? A Wooly Booger is even bigger than you. Bigger than me? It's bigger than a house. Bigger than a house? It can't fit through And they can't windows. climb trees? Oh, no. I'm it glad. Can't fit through, <laughs> it can't fit through a window. can't fit through a door. can't fit through nowhere. So don't worry about it coming through your house. Oh, oh that makes me feel better. The only thing that can come to your house is a chupacabra. But I don't think those are real. Oh, uh, you don't think the chupacabra is real? Oh, no. Oh, well, that's it's good. It's just a TV show. Oh, it's just, oh, okay. And also... Well, how do you know when a wooly booger's out? Well... He, they they don't even take a bath. They smell stink. A. They smell stinky. How do you know what they smell like? I don't. It just smells worse than garbage. And also, you can smell. You know when it's coming. You can smell it. Oh, so then you know how to get out of the way. Oh, I smelt it before. Me and my grandpa run back up the hill. Oh. What was? Did you beat your grandpa or did he beat you? I beat him. <laughs> <laughs> he must have fell or something, huh? No. No? Well, you know what happened? What? Well, let me tell you some more about a wooly booger. Here's some interesting stories and stuff that also you need to watch out. A wooly booger is really, really dangerous. Besides, a wooly booger can eat you to shreds. Ooh, that is scary. The wooly booger has a long veins, and it only and it eats chupacabras too. They eat chupacabras. Maybe that's why we've never seen a chupacabra. Well, maybe that's it. But can I tell you a little bit about Bigfoot? Sure, you can tell me about Bigfoot. Well, Bigfoot is kind of sim- kind of the same thing like a wooly booger, except for Bigfoot has huge feet and he's really stink and he smells a little bad and he's really fuzzy and empty and. Uh, and I know that's real because uh. the sides. Did you know? I heard a story of a of a, of a of Bigfoot broke into someone's house, and it, but the only reason why they know that Bigfoot broke into their house is because they left nails. There was nails on the floor, and I don't know why, but he stepped on them, and there was blood on the floor. Ooh! And then they got the was DNA. The, was he still there when they got home? No, he, he ran was away. Gone. He was gone. Yes. So well, that's gone. a good thing, cause that sounds scary to me. But you know what else? What? I heard of a spooky story about the Bigfoot. You did? Do you think the Bigfoot is worse than the Wooly Booger? I think the Wooly Booger is way worse. You do? What color do you think the Wooly Booger is? I think he's green, brown, and white. Oh, that's so he can he can hide in the woods? I guess so. Yeah. But he likes Butterfingers, huh? Uh-huh. So what do you do with the Butterfingers? Well, well, you lay, if you leave a trail of Butterfingers to your house, then if you live way by the forest, way, and you lay, lay a trail of Butterfingers to your house, he might come it, it, one of them might, a wooly booger might come up to your house. Oh, 
and you might see it. If you do, then you run in your bedroom. You don't let no one look out the window or go outside. Oh. Besides, okay. and you know what else? What? Look. I heard of this big story about Big Flight. He, Big Flight, I know all people don't believe the Willy Burger or Big Flight a lot, but people, some people that don't believe Big Flight say they're nice. I believe that Big Flight was nice until I found out about this story that uh -huh. was true. A girl was, was in her thing, she was in her little house, well, she was a forest girl, and there was a forest boy that was really mean. And she, oh, and and she's on the, and she goes on the internet, like kind of like we're doing, but no, she just sits on the internet talking, and she was so sad because she's worried about mm. that mean man I just told you about. And oh. The mean man was outside with a gun. He was waiting and just waiting. And he was in his pajamas. His pajamas? But you better be careful. The wool boogers lot would get him. Then Bigfoot, well, he showed up, of course. She, she heard screaming and a lot of stuff outside. And then, and then Bigfoot ran off because he knew that she was coming outside. Oh. Then, then she saw him hanging there. He was all bloody and all that stuff. He was, it looks like he was... Oh, and, the, and that's how I know Bigfoot is not nice. So if you see him, run for sure. Well, but, do, you, do you think that the woolly booger is nicer than Bigfoot? Oh no, I think Bigfoot is a little nicer, but the woolly booger is way meaner. Yeah. Besides, one more thing about the woolly booger. I mean, a couple more things. The woolly booger is really dangerous. He has a lot of things, like I told you, but he only comes out in the dark, so no reason to worry about him in the day. <laughs> That's a good thing, don't you think? Don't go in the forest in the dark. Oh, that's a that's good advice. And besides, you.